Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Uh, welcome again to another session of coming back to Islam. Uh, today I would like to share with you guys um, a, a story, okay, uh, from uh, Abu Hurairah radhiyallahu anhu. He said that uh, Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam once told us that there was this one guy. He was walking in the desert. Let me just okay. He was walking in the desert and he was minding his own his own business. And then suddenly he heard a voice coming. From the sky, coming from the sky, and then um, the voice said that, "Go water the orchard, orchard of Mister A." Okay, orchard here means kebun. Okay, kebun. Kebun in English they call it orchard. Okay, and then this guy was 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 curious, you know. So he followed the um the 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 cloud, and then he saw the cloud. Pouring its rain on this kebun, this very big kebun over here, and then inside the kebun he saw this guy. You know he was working. He was he was working in his in in his orchard with his chaku over here. You know his chalk, and then and then he asked, "Um, what's your name?" And then he asked this guy, "What's your name?" And then this guy replied, "My name is Mr. A." And then this guy said, "Mr. A." Oh, that's the exact same name that I heard coming from the sky just now. And then this guy, being curious, you know, he was curious. He said, "Hey, what do you want to know my name for, man?" And then this guy said, "No, um, I heard a voice, uh, saying to go water the orchard of Mister A." And then when I came here, when I followed the clouds, I saw the orchard. It, it's it's a really nice orchard, it's so big and you know, lots of fruits and everything. So he said that. What did you do? What did you do? What did you do in order for you, in 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 order for Allah to give you such good pleasure? You know. Uh, uh sorry, not pleasure. That's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, what did you do in order for you to get such good blessings? Ah, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Blessings from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He said that. I don't know. Um, well, this is what I do. Uh, he said that um, I divide my my orchard into one third. So, one third I give to the poor. One third, the second third, I eat for my family. I eat it with my family, and then the last portion I leave it. In the kebun, I leave it in the orchard. So, when I first heard the story, it amazes me, you know, because I myself I've been struggling with um, money expenses, you know, I've been struggling with 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 keeping money. So when I when when I heard this hadith from this book right here, from this book, it's a really good book. So when I when I heard this hadith, when I read the story. It, it it triggers. I think that is one of the beauty things about the Quran, you know, and whereby when you are facing problems, you know, and then you just open the Quran, and then somehow the Quran just starts to speak to you, you know. So what can we learn from this? What can we learn from this? We can learn that basically in Islam it teaches us about expenses. Okay, our business expenses for those people who have business businesses out there, you know, it teaches us about our business expenses. It teaches us to whenever we have money, we divide it into three. Number one, as zakat, as sedekah. Remember, whenever Allah Allah promises us, whenever we um sedekah ten, He will give us a hundred. Whenever we sedekah a hundred, He gives us a thousand. Whenever we sedekah a thousand, He gives us ten thousand. So one third. Should go to zakat or to sedekah, okay. And then another third, the second third is for yourself. And then another third is for your business. Masha'Allah. You see how Allah teaches us in the Quran. Allah teaches us in the. Uh, sorry, our, our Prophet has teaches us has has taught us that this is basically how you run a business. It's so simple, you know. If you do this, insha'Allah. Uh, this is something that I would like to try myself. I don't know yet what's the result is going to be, but I'm sure that this is definitely one of the 
the, the, the best method of taking care of your expenses. So this is something for me uh, to remind myself and hopefully for you, the listeners as well, um, uh, for, uh, sorry, for you, the listeners who have businesses. Okay, so if you are struggling with expenses, you don't know how to keep money or you don't know how to man- manage money, there you go. This is what has been taught uh, by our Prophet Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam about how do you take care of your expenses. So remember, one third of your money goes to zakat, one third uh, or sedekah, another one third of your money goes to yourself, and then another one third of your money goes back to your business. So this could be either savings or reinvestment or anything, you know, that that will benefit your business. And for yourself, this could be your salary, right? So with this, I hope that this video um, um, has benefited you as much as how it has benefited me. So this is something definitely what I want to try to do. And hopefully, uh, you, the listeners, you can try this out and then share with me um, the result of this. So this is something that I'm going to try to do for the next eight months okay it can't be just one month you know this is something that i want to try to do for the next eight months and see uh how much um how much saving or how much my business can grow how much uh, myself can grow and how much my zaka and my sedekah can grow okay so with that um before i end today's session let's just read the dua again uh bismillahirrahmanirrahim subhanakallahu bihamdika ashadu ala ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilai okay with that thank you very much and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh